Hi, I'm Ethan. I make cameras at cameradactyl.com. I made a 4x5 folding field camera on my 3D printer a little more than a year ago and sold a bunch of them on Kickstarter. I also made a 4x5 handheld camera. It's great for backpacking and even street photography. I made a medium format camera, the Homunculus 6x9. I make accessories for classic cameras, film holders, light meters, DIY pinhole kits, and I add new designs to cameradactyl.com regularly. I've been on podcasts and YouTube videos, blogs, and magazines. As the number of designs that I offer has grown, I've become a victim of my own success, and now I spend a little more than half my time manufacturing cameras rather than designing new ones. That's why I'm going to try something new on this Kickstarter. This is the Cameradactyl Bronco Pan. It's a panoramic 35mm camera that I designed to take advantage of the same lens mount as the homunculus. Instead of selling the cameras for what I would consider to be way too much money for a plastic camera, I'd like this time to sell the design files to the world. The camera takes 60 to 70 hours to print the pieces and another 6 to 8 hours to assemble, uh, before I can even recoup any of the cash for the months that it took me to design the product. I might sell one of these cameras for $650 to $1,000. But if given the files, anybody could make their own on an inexpensive 3D printer for about $40 worth of materials. I'd still have to make some money, actually a lot of money, to cover the months that I put into the design. I'm not sure that the business model will work, but if it did, it would free me up to do more complicated cameras and photographic tools in the future. This is the Cameradactyl Bronco Pan. I named it after a friend. That same Mamiya Press lens mount, and it'll take any Mamiya Press lens from 50 millimeters all the way to 250 millimeters. It's got a spring-loaded film door opening tab. In the back, you can see the film gate is 24 by 58 millimeters, which is the same aspect ratio as cinema anamorphic 1 to 2.4. On top, it's got a film wind lever and a release collar that disengages the winding mechanism so you can rewind the film. It's got a film counter dial and a film winding mechanism that'll stop between frames. It's got a hole through the grip so you can mount a standard cable release to your lens. It's got two hot shoes where you can mount things like viewfinders, light meters, rangefinders, flashes, etc. This is a custom viewfinder. I make them for any Mamiya Press lens. I've been shooting with it for a few months now, and I've taken it to mountaintops on the Continental Divide, to hot sandy deserts that are 95 degrees. I've taken it on planes to Montreal and New York and Spain. It's gone through about 100 rolls of film, and it's totally solid. I don't usually carry a camera bag. I either throw the camera around my shoulder or throw it inside a larger backpack. I'd like to make $12,000 to cover the months that I spent designing and prototyping the camera taking the ideas from sketches to a fully functional, super rugged, panoramic 35mm camera that just about anybody could build at home. It's a lot of money, and projects like this take a lot of time. If the goal is reached, anyone who's pledged even a dollar on Kickstarter would get all of the STL files for the camera at the end of the Kickstarter campaign. I would also make three videos detailing how to print the camera, how to assemble and calibrate the camera, and finally a quick one on how to use it. I would then release all of the files to the world a few months later, on May 1st. As a stretch goal, if I hit $20,000, I will release all of the files for my original folding 4x5 field camera on the same timeline as the panoramic camera, first to the Kickstarter backers and then to the world. I would make the same three instructional videos for this camera build as the panoramic camera build and release them one to two weeks after. And if I reach $100,000, I will make a monthly vlog about what I'm working on at cameradactyl.com and make everything I design in 2020 free, first to the Kickstarter backers, and then after a delay, the world. As for the rewards, I'm going to keep it super simple. I'm not going to make shirts or tote bags or pins or refrigerator magnets. You can give whatever you want and all of the Kickstarter backers will get all of the STL files at exactly the same time. I did make a really nice laser cut film counter dial. You don't need this to assemble a fully functioning camera, but they make the camera a little bit nicer. I'll ship one film counter dial to anybody who donates $50 or more, or three to anybody who donates $100 or more.